Hello YouTube, it is Kabusa as WTF here, and here today I'll be showcase, 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 showcase. Hello YouTube, it is Kabusa as WTF here, and here today I'll be showcasing some ISO mods for Velvet Assassin for Xbox 360. Uh, the credits for this mod is by me, Kabusa's WTF, and James2452. Alright, so you probably don't know who James2452 is. He's actually a really cool guy, and he did a lot of debug menu finding for a, a, just about 100 plus games now for Xbox 360, uh, and retail builds, and... Uh, leaked prototypes and stuff like that. He has a history. He's maybe not be that big to you guys, but um, I've known him for a while and he's a good friend of mine. Uh, so the reason he's getting some credit in this mod is because Velvet Assassin, uh, a prototype of the game, was actually leaked a few years back for Xbox 360. He found out if you actually take the developer CFG files from the prototype build of the game and put them in the retail copy of the game on RGH you can actually re-enable some of the debug content commands and keyboard bindings and stuff and it just worked on the retail copy. Um, now the developer console didn't work, at least he never found a way to make the developer console work and neither have I. But it did allow for you to do some things like no clipping or well, free camming, uh, god mode, um, giving yourself morphine in the game, giving yourself the gas mask, hot swapping your outfits on the fly, um, giving yourself ammo, giving yourself weapons, you know, some, you know, some pretty basic cheaty stuff. So, because he figured that out, well, on the retail copy for a unmodded console, such as, you know, ISO modding, we don't have a way to just inject a CFG file into the ISO, at least in the path it's loading. Uh, in order to do that, normally you'd have to have a container file on the ISO that you can unpack inject files into that container and then repack that container file and then just re-replace re that container file in the ISO. Well, it turns out I found a trick and this is probably the most fucking hackery shit I've ever done is I abused the NXE art file. Now, the NXE art file is shipped in a lot of 360 games post or past the NXE dashboard era. So when the NXE dashboard launched, uh, a lot of games started getting shipped with NXE art. Pretty much what this NXE art file was, was a DVD tray icon image for the actual dashboard. Um, before NXE art files were a thing for games, the game or the Xbox 360 console would actually read the default.xex for an image. Uh, it would usually be a 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 based image that was embedded into the uh, game executable and that's what would show up on the uh, dashboard for the uh, game image. Well anyways, uh, if you try to replace the NXE art file to have a custom image on a retail console it doesn't work but it will not, it, it's, it's still gonna let you play the game. It, it just won't have a DVD tray icon. You can still play the game. So because of that, uh, this game no longer has the giant image for the DVD tray icon but instead it's reading the backup image in the default XEX. So because of that, the game now launches NXE art file as if it was a developer's CFG file. So that enables us to have uh, a mission skipper, which pretty much lets you start on any mission you want from the main menu. Uh, it lets you do no clip slash free cam, it lets you give yourself weapons, ammo, it lets you plug up a keyboard into your console, and lets you do uh, these bindings for the keyboard. Uh, now if you don't have a keyboard, you can actually use a Xbox 360 chat pad, you just won't have as many bind configurations that you can do or key presses because you're lacking the F1 through F12 buttons and you're lacking the uh, right hand of the uh, keyboard numpad and the plus and minus buttons uh, you'll be lacking some of those features but the, if you don't have a keyboard to plug into your console you can use the chat pad as a last resort now on the main menu you'll notice here it'll say Caboose's WTF uh, when you're hovering over it, you'll see some minor credits at the bottom saying by James2452 and Caboose says WTF. Now, if this will only show up on the English version of the game. 
if you're on a different language of the game, it'll say like, uh, it'll say cheat mission or mission cheat, or it'll say mission cheat or cheat mission in a different language. However, the same result will always happen. When you click it, it'll say cheat menu of some language to start game. Here you can just click any mission and just instantly start on that mission that you want. Uh, so for this instance, we're just gonna do death of the butcher. Uh, some other misc modifications I've done is I changed the scroll color. Usually it's just white, but I now changed it to blue. In-game subtitles slash bigger important text. Uh, instead of it being white, it's now green. <clears throat> well, that was honestly the fastest it ever loaded into this level. Uh, but anyways, once you're into the mission that you want to do, um, we're just going to start out with some examples here with the actual controller. Now, I don't have all the controller bindings uh, mapped out because this was all me guessing through trial and error. So there's probably a lot more I don't know. Um, if you find any keyboard you know, configurations, binds, keys, or any controller bindings and configurations and keys that does different commands uh, that I don't have documented, let me know and I'll update my text document eventually and also give you credit for those findings. So let's just say you want to quote unquote cheat next weapon, which means you're going to cycle through weapons. Uh, so for the rifles, we're going to press LB, RB, D pad up. And each time you press D pad up while holding LB and RB, you'll go to the next rifle. If you press LB, RB, D pad down, you'll go to your next handgun, which sometimes they can bug out and go back to the same one. If you press LB, RB, and LT, it'll actually uh, refill the current ammo for the weapon that's in your hand. Now if you hold LB, RB, LT, and spam right trigger, it'll act as if you have infinite ammo because it's constantly refilling your ammo in a loop. Now for free cam, if you hold LB, RB, and right stick, you'll go into free cam mode. If you hold left trigger while in free cam, you'll actually free cam a bit faster. <clears throat> So let's just say you want to stop free cam. You'll just press the X button. However, if you want to stop free cam and teleport, you'll press Y and you'll actually teleport to where your free camera was. Um, let's see. Uh, another configuration for controller is L, B, R, B, and A that'll toggle no target, uh, which pretty much makes enemies blind and don't see you. It can be buggy at times. Now onto the keyboard side of things. Uh, G is to toggle between God mode. By default, God mode's always on, uh, but you can turn it off if you wish. At least I think. I haven't tested that yet, but I'll leave that to you guys to test. Um, you can still die under these certain conditions in the game, even with God mode on, so just be warned about that. Uh, v is to toggle no target as well. Uh, pressing and holding Y will turn on uh, wireframe. If you press Y again, you may have to press it a few times but it'll actually toggle through the uh, wireframe modes. X on keyboard is free cam. Uh, the C button seems to change your outfit. Uh, this is different per level, uh, at least what outfit you get and whatnot. If you uh, hold shift and press C, it'll actually swap to a different variations of outfits. And then sometimes you'll also turn invisible and just have these eyeballs. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Uh, let me go back to normal here. If you press the M button, it'll give you armor. If you press Shift M, it'll remove it. Um, if you press 1, it'll do cheat next rifle. Press 2, cheat next handgun. <coughs> if you press 5, it'll give you a gas mask, but nothing in the game is going to tell you that you got a gas mask. So once you give yourself a gas mask, press the back button on the Xbox 360 controller, and you'll put the gas mask on. If you press Shift 5, It'll remove the gas mask. If you press the back button, you can't take the gas mask off. So you gotta give it to yourself again, then press the back button and you'll take it off. Then if you press shift five again and press back, you'll no longer get the gas mask because you had removed it from your inventory. Now this next one is confusing to me. I don't know what missions it, it's used on, if it's even used, but number six will give you explosives and shift six would remove explosives. However, I can't figure out how those work yet or if they even exist in the game. I haven't really played this game start to finish. Um, if you spam number eight, it'll actually give you skill points. If you press pause and go to inventory, 
I mean, to character, you'll see here you can upgrade. And there you go. That's how the uh, skill points and XP giver stuff works. As you see down there, EXP points, 10, 000, or 105,000 and skill points, 105 stars. Uh, number nine will give you morphine. Now on the right hand side of the keyboard, the plus and minus button is, well the developers called it uh, increase and decrease game time <clears throat> or game speed. But to me it's just, it's just time scale. So let's just do spam the plus button. As you can see I'm running fast. If I spam the minus button, I go really slow. Now let's just go back to a normalish mode. Uh, Shift F9 seems to kick you back to dashboard. I guess it's a quick game command. Um, F10 through F12 could crash you on certain missions. I don't, I haven't really experimented, but it seems to act different per level. All right, guys. So that was my own documentation of what I could figure out. Now let's go to the actual developer documentation. Uh, I'm not going to go over some of these or a good bit of these because a good bit of these I can't get to work correctly or they act weird on different missions. So where is a good one? Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we could do, well no, it's not going to show here because I have no enemies near me, but like control I or control shift I uh, will show like these little lines, I guess paths to AI, it's kind of hard to explain. Um. Yeah, I would just release my text documents with all the documentation. I'll let you guys experiment with a lot of the stuff. And sorry this video is, well, it's not really short per se, but uh, sorry it's not showing a whole lot. But anyone who likes this game or knows of this game, I'm sure you'll love being able to, you know, you know, free cam out of the levels and whatnot, and, you know, ex experiment and see what's going on behind the scenes, you know, have God mode, get easy achievements, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, this mod was created by Caboose's WTF, which is me, and also created by James2452. He has credit for finding the original method to get some of the debug stuff on the retail version of the game. And I'm only getting credit for some of the uh, bindings for your controller and for your keyboard, and also for getting it to work on a retail. Uh, so yeah, guys, this wasn't the most interesting video, I know, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. It's still another ISO mod to add to the book of ISO mods that I've been doing. So yeah, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.